On today's show, as diesels come under fire, Toyota's hybrid sales are booming in Europe. The first Chinese car, the IIHS crash test, passes with flying colors, and BMW develops an airbag jacket for motorcycle riders. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily, the show for enthusiasts of the automotive industry. Diesel engines are in deep trouble in Europe. Environmentalists and even some major cities want to ban them. And the VW diesel emission scandal has hurt the image of the engine. Maybe that's why Toyota is doing so well selling hybrids in Europe. They now account for 41% of all Toyota sales there and 98% of all Lexus sales. Ward's Auto reports that Toyota and Lexus will sell about 300,000 hybrids and plug-ins in Europe this year. That's nearly twice as many that they'll sell in the U.S. market, despite the fact that Toyota sells far more vehicles in the U.S. than it does in Europe. And both brands are unveiling three new hybrid models at the Paris Auto Show this week. The CHR, the Prius Prime, and the Lexus LC 500H Coupe. And you know, this ties in with a study that Nissan did with millennials in Europe. Two out of three millennials in the survey said that they would buy a hybrid in the next 10 years. And more than half say they would buy an electric car. Nissan surveyed 2,500 millennials with 77% of them already owning a car. You know, we could see the European market hitting a tipping point where electrification pushes the diesel engine into the background. And maybe this is why Toyota is considering making every Prius a plug-in. The company says that it's becoming increasingly difficult to improve the gasoline engine in the car and that the only way to achieve significant improvements in fuel economy across the line is to make every Prius a plug-in. The delivery trucks used by the U.S. Post Office are about 27 years old and it desperately needs new ones. And that is coming up next. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. And by Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. Did you know that most of the delivery trucks used by the U.S. Post Office were made when Ronald Reagan was president? They don't have backup cameras or airbags and they don't get very good fuel economy either. In fact, they're falling apart. So the post office wants to replace them with modern trucks and a bunch of companies are bidding to get the business. The post office is testing them right now to decide which one to buy and it wants to buy a lot of them. Some 180,000 trucks priced somewhere between $25,000 and $35,000. That means the total package would come to somewhere between $4.5 and $6.3 billion. That would be a big financial strain on the post office. Last year it lost $5 billion and this year doesn't look a lot better. But there's no question, the post office needs new trucks. Safety is paramount to anyone who rides a motorcycle and now BMW Motorrad is offering a jacket with airbag technology. The bike maker teamed up with Alpine Stars to launch the Street Air line of jackets that come in a range of colors for male and female riders. The system uses an algorithm to know when to deploy the airbags, which are sewn into the jacket and require no link to the bike. It will help protect the back, the kidneys, chest, and shoulders. But for best overall protection, the jacket is meant to be paired with Alpine Star's airbag vest as well. The Street Air jacket goes on sale starting next month. As we've been reporting for some time now, the crossover segment is on fire and it's cannibalizing sales of passenger cars, especially mid-size sedans. And just to give you an idea of how popular they become, when Nissan reports September sales, it expects the Rogue to overtake the Altima and become the best-selling vehicle in its U.S. lineup. That means it'll be the first time since 1995 that the Altima was not the best seller in the company's portfolio. And Nissan expects that once the road gets into that position, it's going to stay there. While working on the road to autonomy, somehow Nissan got sidetracked into autonomous chairs. That's coming up next. 
Lear Connexus is the new application suite in vehicle connectivity designed to deliver over-the-air software updates and more from Lear Corporation's eSystems, leaders in power and data management. When automakers like Volvo and Buick announced that they would sell Chinese-built vehicles in the U.S., there were concerns over the quality of the vehicles. But when it comes to safety, the IIHS says, don't worry, at least not with the Buick Envision. The safety group just awarded the crossover with its top safety pick plus rating, earning good ratings across the board. The Envision is the first Chinese built vehicle the IIHS has ever tested. We all knew that autonomous technology was catching on quickly, but we never imagined this. Earlier this year, Nissan decided that someone needed to figure out how to park office chairs neatly around desks and conference tables. So it came up with a self-parking feature. But that wasn't good enough. So now it came up with what it calls ProPilot Chair, which electronically connects office chairs to each other and then autonomously has them follow a lead chair, which takes them where they need to park. So what's the value in a car company making autonomous chairs? Who knows? But the chairs will be making appearances at select restaurants across Japan. And with that, we come to the end of today's show. Thanks for watching, and please join us again tomorrow.